start it. Introductions. Exercise two. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm fourteen years old. Hello, my name's Will. I'm from Manchester. Hi, I'm Lou. My favourite sport is swimming. Start. Clothes. Exercise six. Boots. Coat. Dress. Jacket. Jeans. Jersey. Sandals. Shirt. Shoes. Skirt. Trainers. T-shirt. Start. Family. Exercise ten. Aunt. Brother. Cousin. Daughter. Father. Granddad. Grandmother. Husband. Mother. Nephew. Niece. Sister. Son. Uncle. Wife. Start. Family. Exercise eleven. This is a picture of my family. Here are my parents. Laura is my mum, and my dad's name is Michael. I have got one brother. His name is Nick. I haven't got any sisters. That's Harriet. She's my cousin. And those are my grandparents. Tom is my granddad, and Margaret is my grandmother. Start. Classroom language. Exercise seventeen. Art. Drama. English. French. Geography. History. ICT. Information and Communication Technology. Literature. Maths. Music. PE. Physical Education. Science. Unit one. Vocabulary one. Exercise two. Action. Adventure. Animated. Comedy. Fantasy. Horror. Musical. Romantic comedy. Science fiction. Thriller. War. Western. Unit. Now say it. Exercise four. What's your favourite type of film, Izzy? Um, my favourite type of film is science fiction. What's your favourite film? My favourite film is Star Wars. Have you got a favourite type of film? Yes, I have. I like action films. Action films? Oh, I don't like them. Unit reading one. Teenagers and their favourite films. Exercise seven. When do you go to the cinema? What types of film do you like? In the UK, the cinema is very popular, and a lot of young people go there. But what types of film do they watch? 
We ask two friends about their cinema preferences. Jack, twelve. I love going to the cinema because there are always eight films on at our local cinema complex, and it's really modern. The ice cream is fantastic, and there's great popcorn and other snacks. I go with my friends every Friday. We all like science fiction films with action and suspense. We are also great fans of special effects, so we love films like Avatar and Transformers. Katie, eleven. I don't like horror films or science fiction films, but I love romantic comedies. One of my favourite films is Letters to Juliet. It's about a woman called Sophie who goes to Italy and discovers a very old, unopened love letter. <laughs> It's very funny, and Sophie ends up falling in love too. Of course, I don't go to the cinema much because there isn't a cinema near me. I watch films on DVD a few months later. Unit pronunciation. Exercise A. E. When. Best. Adventure. O. Who. Blue. Superstar. I. Why. Like. Child. Unit listening. Child stars. Exercise eleven. Many young people dream of going to Hollywood and becoming rich and famous. On today's program, we've got the child actress Mia Straw. How old are you, Mia? I'm twelve years old. And where do you live? I live in California. Do you work in Hollywood? Yes, I do. I do advertisements for TV. I also work as an extra in films. Tell us a little bit about your daily routine. Do you go to school? Yes, of course. Californian law is very strict. All young actors go to school, and they have a private tutor during filming. Do you work on a film all day? No, I don't. I'm in the studio for eight hours. But that includes three hours with my tutor. Tutor, very young children can only work a few minutes a day. Really? And what about money? Are you rich and famous? <laughs> no, I'm not. Has your dad got all your money? <laughs> no, he hasn't. The film company puts my money directly into a special bank account. Can you use this money? No. I can't use this money until I'm eighteen years old. What about your dreams? Well, I make a lot of advertisements and I'm a film extra, but I would really like to have a bigger part in a film. Is there a possibility? I've got a second audition today, so. Thank you very much, Mia, and good luck. Unit speaking, exercise three. What's on? Um, summer love is on. Do you like romantic comedies? I can't stand romantic comedies. What about The Monster Returns? It's a horror film. I don't like horror films. They're awful. How about Year Twenty Two Twenty Two? Do you like science fiction? I don't mind science fiction. What do you think of animated films? I really like them. They're great. Let's see Invincible's return. <laughs> Good idea. Unit Culture, Film Awards, Exercise Seven. The Academy Awards, or the Oscars, are the most famous film industry awards in the English-speaking world. They are given to people who work in the film industry. Such as actors, directors, and writers, and the winners receive a gold statue. 
Every year, this award ceremony is held in late February or early March in Hollywood in the USA. The British equivalent of the Oscars is the British Academy of Film and Television Arts Awards, or BAFTAs. Winners of the British award win a gold theatrical mask. In 2009, the British film Slumdog Millionaire won eight Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director. It also won seven BAFTAs. Slumdog Millionaire is about an 18-year-old finalist on the Indian version of the popular TV quiz show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Unit Vocabulary 2 Exercise 2 Cartoon Chat show Comedy program Documentary Drama Game show Reality show Soap opera Sports program the news. Unit reading two. Too much TV and not enough sleep. Exercise five. Do your parents say you watch too much TV? Do they think you always watch cartoons and reality shows? A new report says that young people often watch just one and a half hours of TV a day but their parents usually watch twice as much. This report also says that young people don't watch many DVDs on their TVs. This generation prefers computers, so do young people often watch TV online? No, they don't. They sometimes watch DVDs on their computer, but only for about two hours a week. Does this mean that teenagers go outside and do lots of sport? Unfortunately, no. The computer is now a replacement for the TV, and a lot of teenagers spend their time on their computers. They surf the internet, play video games, and download music. More than 50% of 11 to 13-year-olds have got a computer in their room, and they don't get enough sleep because of it. Teenagers often sleep for only four hours, so they are very tired the next day at school. Do you agree? Do you usually stay up late in the week? We want to hear from our readers. Unit Writing Exercise 1 What's your favourite TV programme? This week, Sophie, 11, tells us about her favourite TV programme. I don't watch TV every day, but I often watch my favourite programme, Glee. It's an American comedy programme and it's on TV once a week. On Sundays you can watch the repeat. This programme is very popular. Glee is about a singing club in an American high school. I really like this programme because the characters always do funny things – I really recommend this programme to people who like music and dancing. Unit Clill Music The 1960s The Beatles are the most successful band in history. They sold more than one billion records and were a product of the 1960s, a decade many refer to as the Swinging 60s. The Beatles had a big influence on pop and rock music, and a lot of bands today use the same ideas as they did. Firstly, they were the songwriters as well as the performers. Two members of the band, Paul McCartney and John Lennon, wrote most of the songs. They also played instruments, such as guitars, the drums and vocals. Their songs were short, and the lyrics were easy to memorise. The melody of the song was very simple, but effective, and the chorus often repeated the title of the song. The Beatles weren't the only band who used this, for this formula. 
The Rolling Stones, The Kinks and The Who all influenced pop and rock music and they were all popular in the 1960s.